hey guys so 89 percent of you guys watching this video are unsubscribed so if you guys do enjoy the video please make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications as it does help me and the channel out a ton thank you hey guys in this video i'm going to be giving you guys five different ways that you guys can increase your internet speed get low latency and have the best ping you could ever possibly have in fortnite so if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe turn notifications all that good stuff as it does about the channel a ton now the first thing that we are going to be talking about so you guys can get better internet is your internet speed and bandwidth now if you guys don't know how you can check this i will be showing you guys right now what you need to do is just go into your regular you know taskbar or whatever internet browser you guys use and type in speedtest.net once you do that the site is going to pop up and you just want to hit you know go do your speed test and then once you see what your internet speed is for you guys to be able to play games optimized and good you need to be getting at least 15 to 20 megabytes per second on your upload speed or not upload speed but your download speed or either the first one i forgot which one it is but the, but you are going to need at least 15 to 20 megabytes per second if you're going to be wanting to play games and have some good internet i have like a thousand i think so or not a thousand but at least 800 i wouldn't be showing you guys right now but i have at least 800 now for some other people um you know it's gonna affect you if you have multiple people on the same internet you know if you have people streaming or video chatting or just you know using a lot of tabs in chrome it's gonna affect you if you're using the internet and trying to get you know some content in there for you so that's the thing that's gonna affect it a lot is like you know streaming or downloading things they require a lot of data a lot more than gaming so they're gonna slow down your internet and your game if you don't have enough bandwidth to support it all so you know a lot of these things can benefit you or they can you know bring it down so these are the things that are going to be helping you the most now which the second thing i'm going to be telling you guys about is you want to aim for low latency now what low latency is is basically it is network latency and it's how long it takes for you know data to travel in between the source and the destination so the lower latency you have the better if you're gaming with high latency you might you can pretty much tell your character walks forward but they don't actually move for a couple seconds you know so that causes lag and the best combination to have high speed internet is with low latency now low latency is basically ping so if you have a like a ping rate of below 150 milliseconds or like say 20 milliseconds is is really good to have so if you have under 20 milliseconds in fortnite that's really good to have you're at a good pace right there and uh that's a lot of you know you can easily take walls with that for me i have zero ping so that's really good that means i have zero latency and i have zero input delay so that makes it really good really good so like the way to stop latency is to figure out what causes it and what causes it is literally like your uh connection like your network connection you know oh where you're God, located and the router so if you get you know if you're playing fortnite on the top left you can see a little thing up there and it shows you you know your bandwidth um you know your packets you know how many packets you are how, how many packets you lose all these other things so no way, that's they can show there if you're getting a lot of packet loss that means you're lagging and it's really you know what you need to do is yeah, you need to make sure that you're connected now the third thing that we're going to be talking about that can get you guys some better internet is to move closer to your router if you guys are far away from the router or you're not connected you know if you're just using wi-fi that can really affect your internet a lot you're going to want to make sure that you are hardwired into a router from your computer now what that means is you're going to need to get an ethernet cord and plug an ethernet cord from your computer directly to your router instead of wi-fi because if you do wi-fi you're not going to get as fast as speeds as you are if you do ethernet so i definitely recommend you do ethernet on that one um now there is a big thing with ethernet there's like cat 5 cat 6 and cat 7 and what that means is basically how much information and data goes through the ethernet port so if you have a cat 5 you know it's gonna i forgot how much it is but i think it's like you know a certain amount of megabytes that travels through that information so you're going to want to get a cat 7 ethernet port those are the best ones for gaming and those are the best ones you guys are want to get so you can get those high speeds of internet and get you know as much potential out of your router as you can now the fourth thing that i'm going to show you guys and tell you about another thing that can help you guys increase your speed is closing any background websites 
or programs that you guys have in the background of your computer uh you know websites like netflix youtube or if you guys are downloading something stop it because downloads can really affect it netflix can really affect it because netflix uses a lot of bandwidth and youtube as well because of the adobe player and you're watching videos and just things like that can affect your ping and your latency a lot so if you have that close them so that they don't affect it and another thing they can do is you know take your phone off the wi-fi you know, if you have a laptop, take that off the Wi-Fi. If your parents aren't using the internet, take them, you know, tell them to get off the Wi-Fi. Things like that can really help, you know, between you and getting better internet so that you can have low ping and you can win all your games and take every single wall you guys fight. So, it's a big thing. So, one of the last things that I'm going to tell you guys is to connect your device. You know, I was talking about this earlier with the Ethernet. If you guys live in a household where you have to share Wi-Fi with your whole family and you know everybody that lives there, it might be difficult to ask them to stop using the internet when you're gaming. So what you do is you try and squeeze a game whenever they can, you know, whenever you can, whenever they're out the house, so you can connect to the um, internet and get better Wi-Fi. But all you really have to do is connect the Ethernet. As long as your router isn't the problem, you should, you know, this should really drastically lower your ping. Now, I know that I said five things already, but I'm just going to give you guys, you know, a couple more things that you guys can do if those five aren't working. This is some other stuff you guys can do. Um, if you guys, you know, live somewhere far where, you know, you can't really play on servers that are near you or something, or, you know, just try and play the local server that you guys, yeah, guys have near you. Don't try and play any west if you're from any east, you know, don't try and do that things. Just play on the local server that you guys have. That will get you the best ping possible. Um, another thing you guys can do is to restart your router. You know, sometimes routers can be a kind of iffy and not working. So if you guys honestly just go to your router, turn off the off and on button, do that once or twice. If it doesn't work, press the reset button. You know, that can really help too. Now, big thing that can really help is to replace your router and get faster internet speed. If you guys do that, you're gonna have a breeze through all this. If you guys do that, you're gonna have bigger broadband and you're gonna have bigger internet speeds and just things like that. So definitely, definitely recommend you guys do that. Um, I, did, I did that and now I'm getting a lot better speeds and you know, it's a lot better as well so that i definitely recommend that too and uh one more thing that you guys can do uh i'm pretty sure that another uh, you know other youtubers have talked about this too is uh timer resolution i posted a video about this as well i will post that on screen or it will be at the end of the video as well but timer resolution is another great program that can help you guys with you know latency for instance my monitor is a one millisecond response time latency now if you guys don't have a good monitor say you have a two millisecond response time uh monitor and you know you don't have a one millisecond another way that you can actually you know not be on par but you know catch up or be pretty close to where one millisecond response time people are is getting a timer uh program called timer resolution and what that does is it cuts your resolution uh your millisecond you know in half so for me i have it and when i play fortnite i use it sometimes so i have a one millisecond response time i turn that program on i press maximum and it cuts it down to 0 0.5 so that's another really good thing that i really like to use for my you know for when i play and you know I, it really helps a lot especially when you're on zero ping and you have another thing that lowers your latency even more Dude, you could take walls for days. I do it all the time. It's honestly really OP and really broken. So if you guys, you know, have 30 ping and use this, it can definitely help against us people that have zero ping or 20 or lower, you know, compared to the other people that, you know, don't have it. So I think that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it does help out the channel a ton. Uh, I know that recently I haven't been uploading a lot, but I'm still trying to figure out a schedule and with work and, you know, with school coming. So there's a lot of things that I'm trying to get together here and I'm trying to get a schedule and everything attacked so that I can get, you know, some content for you guys every day, plus the streams, you know, so I'm trying to, I'm working on some things behind the scenes, trying to get things for my setups and, you know, everything for you guys. So definitely appreciate all the support recently from you guys. It's definitely been a big help and a big journey along the way we're almost at 6k subs thanks to you guys so thank you very much you guys are insane i appreciate it but 
anyway guys that's gonna be it for this video um let me know in the comment section below if there's any other things you guys want me to talk about or any other videos you guys might think could help let me know down below and as always i hope you guys have a beautiful wonderful day peace